Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, I will explain different types of temperature sensors. So we are using temperature sensors every day in different applications like air conditioning, refrigeration and industrial automation. So each application may have a different temperature sensing need. The difference include what is being measured like water, air, etc. and where it is being measured like inside or outside and the range of temperature being measured. So there are four different types of temperature sensor thermocouple, thermistor, semiconductor ICs and RTDs. So this video will focus on these different types of temperature sensors along with their advantages and disadvantages. Let us start by first explaining what is thermocouple. Thermocouple are the most commonly used type of temperature sensor. It is made by joining two dissimilar metal wires together. This causes a Seebeck effect. The Seebeck effect is a phenomena in which a temperature difference of two dissimilar conductors produces a voltage difference between the two substances. The main advantages of thermocouple is that it is widely and commonly used in industrial, automotive and consumer application. It is self-powered and it requires no excitation and it can be used for the wide temperature range from minus 270 degree C to 1800 degree C and it has a very quick response time. The disadvantages of thermocouple include the disadvantages of thermocouple include it will give very small output voltage with respect to the temperature change which requires very precise amplification and it is susceptible to the external noise because it may have long wires and also there is a cold junction in which the thermocouple wires meet the copper circuitry. This creates another Seebeck effect which needs to be compensated. So you need a compensated circuit in order to properly or accurately read the temperature from the thermocouple. Next come RTD which is resistance temperature detector. So as the temperature changes, the resistance of any metal changes as well. A RTD is a resistor with well defined resistance versus temperature characteristics. It means that its resistance changes with the change in the temperature and also it requires an excitation current which is used to measure the resistance. Platinum is the most common and accurate material used to make these RTDs. So platinum RTDs which is also known as PRDTs are often available with 100 ohm and 1000 ohm resistance at 0 degree C. Therefore they are also referred to as PT100 and PT1000 respectively. Here you can see this is RTD and we have 2 wire PT100 similarly we have 4 wire PT100. The 4 wire is more accurate than the 2 wire and all the RTDs requires excitation current to measure the resistance. The advantages of PRTDs include the behavior is almost linear with respect to temperature changes. It is very stable and accurate and they also provide very good repeatable responses. It means that they will give an accurate and same response repeatedly. Similarly, they can be used for wide temperature range and they are very accurate. The disadvantages include due to their higher thermal mass, response is slower to the changes in the temperature as compared to the thermocouple. Since they require excitation current, therefore signal conditioning is very important in order to read the resistance. Next come 
the thermistor the thermistors are also very similar to the rtds because the resistance of these material also changes with the change in the temperature thermistors are usually made from a polymer or a ceramic material so there are two types of thermistors ntc which is negative temperature coefficient it means that its resistance decreases with the increase in the temperature and other is ptc which is positive temperature coefficient ntc is most commonly used thermistor so a very common approach of using a thermistor is to connect an ntc in series with a resistor whose value is already known so this makes a voltage divider circuit so as the temperature changes the resistance of ntc also changes and we can measure the voltage at the common point of these two resistance in order to find the resistance of a thermistor by using any adc component just like microcontroller the advantages of thermistors include it is it has a very fast response over a narrow range of temperature it comes in small size the lead resistance is not a problem because the thermistor has very high value of resistance and it has a good sensitivity in ntc region the cost of thermistor is low as compared to rtds and thermocouple the disadvantages of thermistors include the excitation current should be low in order to avoid self heating of the thermistors so they are not suitable for large temperature range and also their response also their behavior is non linear with temperature changes and they are less accurate as compared to rtd so finally semiconductor ic's they come in the form of integrated circuits or ic's they measure their own die temperature by using the physical properties that is temperature sensitive voltage versus current characteristics of a transistor so they can have analog or digital outputs the analog output can be either voltage or a current while the digital output can be i square c or spa protocol or can be a digital data the advantages of semiconductor include it is reasonably linear output with respect to temperature changes it is available in moderately small sizes and these sensors are fairly accurate over a wide temperature range if properly calibrated also they can be very easy to interface with microcontrollers or arduinos the disadvantages of semiconductor ic's are small interchangeability and they are only ideal for the embedded application where they are only installed on the equipment it means that they are not ideal for the application where remote sensing is required i hope you understand the working principle of all four types of temperature sensors along with their advantages and disadvantages for more interesting videos stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching